Now Daniel has a kid he can mentor, and he starts teaching Robbie all the things that Mr. Miyagi taught him. Wax on, wax off, and turning everyday chores into karate lessons. But just like Daniel back in the day, Robbie doesn't see it like that. He just sees Daniel being lazy. But when Daniel gets in the dojo, he tells him, wipe the window, wax on, wax off. And that is an epiphany for Robbie. He finally sees, just like Daniel back in the day, that all of those things were actually karate lessons. And he buys in. The next day, Robbie's on his lunch break when his two buddies show up. And they had been razzing him about getting a job at LaRusso Auto Group, but Robbie played it off like he was doing it only to piss off his dad. But they have a new scheme, and that scheme is to get into LaRusso Auto Group. They don't want to steal cars, they just want to steal everything in a car. And they want Robbie to help them do that, giving them the key code. But Robbie doesn't have the key code. He also seems really hesitant to want to screw over Daniel. And they tell him, well, you can get it, right? Or maybe you just don't want to. Do you remember the last time somebody didn't want to help us out? Yeah, that guy got pretty messed up. So they threaten Robbie into getting the key code, and he's able to do it by filming Amanda going in. But his relationship with Daniel is continuing to grow, just like a bonsai, to the point where Daniel actually lets him trim the bonsais that they give out, which is a pretty big deal. And this is all because Daniel realizes that Robbie's a pretty good kid, he just had a rough go of it. He needs a positive male role model in his life. And Daniel goes and checks up on Robbie with the bonsais, but Robbie's having a tough go of it. And Daniel tells him, you just have to envision what you want the bonsai to look like and make it happen. And Robbie realizes that this is probably a metaphor, and Daniel says, yes, it is. You're the bonsai. Envision what you want your life to be and make it happen. But as soon as Daniel leaves, he gets a text from his boy saying, I'll see you tonight. Because that night is the night where they're going to break into La Russa Auto Group. But Robbie's made the decision that he's not going to allow that to happen. And when his buddies show up, he tells him, I'm not letting you in. He uses the karate that Daniel has taught him to fight him off. And it works for a while, but he is new to karate. And they do end up getting him cornered. And Robbie's only saved when he points at the security camera above his head. So they run off, but before they do, they tell him, watch your ass. Now, over with his dad, Johnny has realized that a lot of these kids during training are flinching. And he asks them, how many of you haven't been punched in the face? And to his surprise, it's most of the class. So he says, all right, before you leave today... You're getting punched in the face. But one of those kids is not Miguel. So while Johnny's sitting in his office listening to all these kids getting punched in the face, Miguel comes in because he's looking for girl advice. He wants to ask Sam out, but he's nervous that he's going to get rejected. And Johnny reminds him, you're Cobra Kai. You strike first. Don't take no for an answer. Be persistent. Miguel then notices that he's holding a flyer for the All-Valley U18 tournament. He asks, are we going to enter that? But Johnny says, no, I don't think we're ready. And Miguel seems a little disappointed about that. But he takes the advice from Johnny. And the next day he heads to school and he awkwardly asks Sam to go on a date. And she says, while she's flattered, after the whole bit with Kyler, she's not really in the market to start dating someone. But Miguel remembers to be persistent. Strike first. And he rewords it, saying, well, what if we just go and hang out? And it's not a date. We just simply hang out. And his persistence pays off, and she agrees, although they both kind of know it's a date. So when Miguel goes to the dojo that day after school, he's looking for some advice on where to take her. Eli says, take her to go get tattoos. And then he promptly shows off his back tattoo that he got, which his parents have no idea about. But the person he's really looking for advice from is Aisha, because she used to be friends with Sam. Although she does point out, Don't look at me. We used to be friends. Miguel asks her, come on, you you know her. What does she like? And Aisha says, well, she likes chocolate and astronomy. So that gives Miguel a pretty good idea what to do. But then he hears Johnny screaming on the phone. Because Johnny did call up about entering Cobra Kai into the competition, only to find out that Cobra Kai has a lifetime ban. And when Miguel asks what's going on and Johnny explains, Johnny tells him there's not much I can do. But Miguel is a little surprised about that because he says, we're Cobra Kai. We don't give up. Be persistent. Don't take no for an answer. And Johnny looks at him and says, you know what? You're right. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to kick their ass. But Miguel says, whoa, whoa, that's not what I was talking about at all. Maybe there's a smarter way to handle this. And Johnny thinks about this and he decides, yeah, you're probably right. And he's going to head to the committee to plead his case. He meets up with Miguel beforehand because that's the night of Miguel's date with Samantha. And he asks, what are you planning on doing with her? And Miguel explains his plan and he says, no, 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 that sounds terrible. Take her where I used to take my dates. And it's the Golf and Stuff Family Fun Center. And Miguel takes Sam there, or I should say Sam takes Miguel there because she drove. And the two have an absolute blast. They really hit it off. At one point, she's asking him, are you as bad at karate as you are at mini golf? And Miguel tells her, I'm the best one in my dojo. He starts showing her some stances and whatnot, and she ends up taking him down pretty easily out of nowhere. To which he is very impressed with. She then gets on top of him and tells him, this is the best date I've ever been on, and kisses him. And you get the feeling this is probably Miguel's first kiss. Now over with Johnny, he shows up at the committee meeting and tells them, I don't understand why my dojo has been banned for life. And all the members of the committee are shocked about this. 
They didn't even know they could ban dojos for life. But that's when Daniel LaRusso shows up because Daniel is a part of the committee and he starts showing them why Cobra Kai is banned for life. But instead of getting mad, Johnny pleads his case, saying how his old sensei is dead and the other guy that they mentioned, he's never even heard of. And to the dismay of Daniel, they put it up for a vote and it passes. Cobra Kai is back in the tournament. And after both of their successful nights, Johnny and Miguel meet up, have a victory toast because Cobra Kai is back in the All Valley Karate Championships. Thank you so much for watching this recap. Please consider subscribing to the channel. If you don't see the next video up in the corner, don't worry, I'll get it up in a couple days. Hit thumbs up if you liked the video, hit thumbs down if you didn't, and be nice in the comments section.